All right, colors again, same as last time. Move around a little bit, but burnt umber, burnt sienna, thalo green, Mars black, lizard crimson, thalo blue, titanium white, cad yellow light, yellow ochre, cad yellow deep, grumbacher red, naphthol red. So this one, what do we want to do for the sky? I want to do a sunset, so we'll probably just do some. Is this yellows? Oh, that's too much yellow. Oh well, we'll add some red in there. A little bit more red. That's too much red. We're gonna start with a fireball. I want it to be like dark orange. Right there in the middle. Hopefully that's dark orange, I can't tell. It looks, it looks yellow to me. Okay. This is allergic to acrylics. Perhaps one day wear a hazmat suit and do a painting. <laughs> I could. I don't have a hazmat suit, but I got like a... What's the thing? There's one for like um, when you deal with toxic chemicals, the Bayer suits. I have one of those. So I used to deal with toxic chemicals. <laughs> Which may have something to do with allergies, but I don't know. Didn't work at Campbell Junior, that's for sure. If you've seen those commercials, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> orange? I can't tell. Someone tell me if that's not orange. Have you gotten into varnishing yet? Uh, not. Oh, I did one. I did one varnish painting. I have not gone too deep in the varnishing uh, adventures, so to speak. Where do we want the sun? Let's put it right there. Okay, and then above that we're going to use crimson. Might be some blue there. There is, I apologize. That was very strong. Holy cow. That was a very strong. That's the strongest cream I've ever seen in my life. And then up top, we're going to mix that with some blue. Hopefully, this is purple. To me, this looks red. I guess top don't matter as much because we're just making a stri some stripes up there in the sky. Toxic artist, new YouTube channel, toxic art. <laughs> yeah. Where I just deal with toxic chemicals and try to do paintings without getting hives. <laughs> it could be fun. I don't know. I do use cadmiums, which are apparently toxic, but I don't know. I just like I like cadmiums because they're not they're much stronger than the um, the other colors. What other colors? Hansi yellow. That's the color I was thinking of. All right, I don't need this palette yet. What am I doing here? Okay. Almost knocked my water bowl over. Is there still blue in there? Yes, there is. I'm gonna wash the brush real quick. Risky business here. Blending blues into yellows and reds. Don't wanna risk it. I'd rather get water up in there than get that blue up in there. Yeah, gloves. Lots of people do use gloves. I snort turpentine for breakfast. <laughs> the terps. I've never used those, but I don't know what. I don't know what the problem is with them. They're made from pine oil. I don't know. They smell bad, apparently. Okay, this is gonna be. There's plenty of water in there, that's for sure. Oh well. 
going to make things really flat after it dries. Not a problem for this painting. Could beat the brush, but I don't want to destroy it. So I'm just going to blend in here. Put this brush down. Give them a break. I don't like that top line though. It's a little too dark. So we'll try and blend them out some more. Better or worse, maybe. Maybe a little both. A little both, yeah. Okay. I feel like we got a really weird looking sky here. I don't know. Let's see. We gotta throw the sun in somewhere. Don't use straight white. Add some yellow, add some red, a little bit more red maybe. Naphthol red is very, very strong. I didn't cut my hand there, that's just paint, okay, we're fine. Is this orange <laughs> or pink? I can't tell. here try and get the blue out of there have you tried na naive art what is that I don't know what naive art is two schools of thought on water mixed oil products do you use water at all to thin mix my own water and water mix oil meeting Make a lean version, the fatter version. Yeah, that's. I think that's fine. I know a lot of people. When I first started using them, there's like a bunch of internet forums where people are talking about like never use, never use water, never ever use water to thin. Don't do it. Never ever. Blah blah. blah. Well, not blah blah. blah but <laughs> trying. I'm being mean. Here. They're they're just very aggressive about that opinion for some reason. And I didn't really get it because I used water to thin mine for a very long time. And I didn't until I started using regular oil paints even think about doing it otherwise. Um, but I think it's fine. The only difference I noticed was that the it would kill the gloss. So you would, you would end up with um, less shiny painting at the end. It wasn't terrible, but it's just something you had to be aware of. I don't really know what I'm doing with this painting right now. I'm just kind of throwing in what I think are the shape of clouds. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look horrible. Someone let me know if it does. I'm sure someone in the comments will afterwards. <laughs> ah, Sky Kid. People have been nice in the comments lately. Lots of tips. It's a style of painting. Artist intentionally bends rules. Ooh, cool. That sounds like something I'd be good at because I can't really see colors. So I bend the rules unintentionally. <laughs> What are we going to do? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this painting. Let's just add in some more. I do want a little bit of sunshine here in the middle. Look how stringy this 
Oh goodness. That was very thin. I just want I want the sun. I want the sun somewhere. I think I said it was here, so we're gonna put it in. There we go. There he is. Or she, whatever you want. They're there. In the sky. And then I'll blend out. I'm gonna add in I'm gonna add in a lot of stuff around. Right Maybe not a lot, but a little bit. Cobra has an eight part video. Oh cool. Yeah, Cobras they're kind of in my opinion, they're the leaders of water mixable stuff. There's a lot of other people doing it, but they're kinda of at the top. Kind of flinging the sun, sunshine colors around, clouds around, making them fly. Now I've gone up here in the blue, we can't go back. Could use a two inch brush for this too. Whatever, whatever works. That's my new life motto, whatever works. Or pain motto. <laughs> okay. Now around this, I'm gonna make it dark. I'm gonna add crimson and yellow. Hopefully I don't go into that blue. I think this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe and just go to the top. Crimson, a little bit of yellow. Any deep yellow? A little orange. Mm, that's an interesting color there. That's an interesting color, whatever color that is. Let's make them come up here. I'm gonna fire it up here. up a little bit. I want to come under the sun. Just like this. Right there. Gotta be careful though. I don't want to go too far. Too far. I want to get that big glob of yellow that I put in there. You know? There we go. Oh, looks like there's a shadow or something here. up there. There we go. Down here. There we go. This is all fan brush so far. So we haven't really branched out into the other brushes. Okay, okay. Now, this is a lake. I said it was a lake at least. We gotta make it a lake. All that's water. We want to reflect some of that sky down there. So let's just let's just start firing in some things. Fire in. If I had a magic white in here, it might be a little more slick, but this is okay. There's air. The and I'll add some more bright colors here in the middle here in a minute. I hope it's orange. Could be green. I don't know. Can't tell. I don't know if I put enough oil on over here on this side. I'm 
just one this out for now. So we'll throw in a mountain here and we'll cover it up. Just got to remember. Naive art is visual art created by a person who lacks formal education and training that a professional artist undergoes. 90% of us, but it's cartoonish looking. I don't mind cartoons. I don't know. I'd have to look at some paintings to, before I get an opinion. If that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Alright, blue and... Blue and red. Crimson. Not red. Sorry. Up here. Is that too much? It's either too much or not enough blue. Probably too much. I tend to overdo the blues. This is just the paintbrush. I don't know. You can probably tell that though. I don't have to tell you. Try and reflect this down here as well. A little bit more for this side. spot there in the middle. Pull that down. And then we'll need a, uh, I don't know what we'll need. <laughs> but we need a water line there maybe. From what I see, Naive Art looks like realist cartoonish. If, if done by a, a naive artist, it's professional to do that style. Ah, I see. Interesting. My daughter Erica is at work. She wants to know if you check any ASMR paintings. <laughs> I haven't checked out any yet, but I could check them out at some point. wiping off this extra. Is this purple? Is that what I got going here? I don't know. I'm just trying to step back for a second. See what looks off. Adjust it. Okay. All right. Let's add in some little lights. We need yellow. Or no, we need a little blue underneath. I, I am going to add a little highlight here. Ah, highlight, waterline, I'm sorry. Getting them confused. There's a hair. I don't want to get that on the canvas. There's enough of them from the brushes. All right, let's throw in a little bit of water line back here. It's gonna be pretty dark. Won't be able to see much of it. Make sure it goes over here. 
here to the left. Okay. So if I remember, there's a little hill in the background, and then this is just all uh, just regular lake, little lake. It's like chromatic black, at least on the camera. Might be purple, but super dark. Okay. Bob Ross is there. Brush sounds and palette knife sounds are a big thing in ASMR. Oh yeah. People like the uh, that sound. Sometimes they comment and they're like, I really like that sound. In some of my old videos. I don't know. <laughs> Paint a big spike balloon. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. I don't know. Could see a little spy balloon up there, maybe. All right. What did I want to do? Oh yeah, there's some water lines. Not water lines, so ripples. But I want to take the sun color and fire that in first. Right in the middle where the sun is, right here. Just gotta make sure I keep it in this. As we go forward, get a little bit more. It's too far back. I gotta fix it a little bit. Here we go. Pull a little bit. out of this so I'll just throw a little bit more down here and I can blend some of that out ASMR is big I watch Scottish girl ASMR to fall asleep I wonder why guys don't make ASMR I don't know add the word to your paintings on YouTube oh yeah yeah I could do that there's a lot of stuff I have to add to the I didn't get my videos out last week because so I was busy with stuff, but I gotta add those tags that Paint Your Dream World said last week and how to in the title and then ASMR. All kinds of stuff I gotta do. Ugh, it's just too busy. It's just too busy, but we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Alright. Just red, some red and yellow here. I don't know. I'm gonna throw some of that on the side. It might be too dark. I don't know. Can you see that? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. I don't know. sides like over here it's gonna look weird that's yeah, gonna look weird oh well we'll just go with it and blend it out if we don't like it I don't know I don't know what I'm doing anymore I'm just gonna add stuff in well, we want those corners to be really dark though I don't like them. Would do that, but since I'm not good at it, I feel like it would be cheating. <laughs> ASMR painting. Do they really paint or just fake it? Some really do. Yeah, they do, I think. Maybe. I don't think they're all... I mean, some of them definitely are, but not all. This might be too dark.
I need to make these corners darker, so I'll do that real quick. These are just like way too dark here. So let's pull some of that yellow over here. Okay. Hopefully my head's not in the way. Apologize for this. Okay. Need some like dark ripples over here. big chunks of paint there. I'm still here. It took trash. It looked good. Blend the middle just a tad. Blend that orange brown spot in the in the sky. Orange brown spot. Can you give me a very specific direction to where it is? <laughs> I could do it. I can't. I don't see any brown because my eyes are broken, but let me know. Relative to the sun, where's the brown spot? Just let me know. I'll blend out the, uh, I'll blend the, I'll blend this, uh, this part here real quick. And then you can just give me directions. <laughs> one day, one day I'll get my eyes fixed. They'll have the technology. Just gotta trust the scientists. Yeah, <laughs> someone will figure it out. Under the dark blue in the middle. The dark blue in the middle. Here. Here. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I gotta make sure I don't have a yellow. One. I hope it's here. I don't know. <laughs> if not, it's getting blended anyway. There's no going back. Here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope that was it. <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right. Taylor, Asmar, Scottish, Girl, and Bob Ross are my favorite. Check them out. Okay. Yeah, I'll check them out. Backseat painter. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I, if I have any weird stuff, just let me know. They're like odd colors. Because otherwise I won't be able to tell. I'll just be up here using crazy things. And people look at me and say, what's wrong with that guy? Why is he painting like that? I did want to, I did want to darken the corner. Just a little bit. Just a little Pulled eyes to the middle or something. That's what people say. <laughs> Isn't that what? I don't know. Do people say that? I can't see this corner at all. So hopefully it's not too dark. I'm just kind of going in there, going at it. There we go. Hopefully that pulls things in a little bit. Okay. There we go. Anything else? Spy balloon. Do we want to do the spy balloon? They get almost a million views. Oh, wow. That's a lot of views. I don't know what I would do if I had that many views. Probably get panic attacks. Taylor is best known for for a, known her for a few years now. She is funny. Oh, cool. I'm just wiping off my fan brush. Whatever you want, Paul says. Your paintings are good too. P Y D. Paint your dream world. Yeah, he has really good paintings. 
check them out. All right, where's my there's a script liner? Do I have some more on here? Yeah, there's enough on here. I'm gonna put much down. I'll do my signature down here in the water. There we go. N W. Oh, I'm missing this one. All the, all kinds of messed up. Oh well. I had a little hair sticking out on the side, and it didn't stick it down. So signature went a little crazy. Happens though. It happens. Two, three. Knock that over. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I want birds at the last second after we after we said we were done. Not quite finished. Almost. All right. This will be fast though. Two seconds. Maybe three. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over the brown spot. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. That one's like a crane. He got his little face sticking down. Another one there. Yep. There we go. He's doing a nose dive. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Take her down. No more piddling. Hopefully this doesn't fall. It's starting to fall a little bit. All right, this is the uh, Umbagog, um, Umbagog Lake, New Hampshire. Nice little simple hills and some birds. But here we go.